Hey guys, hope you are doing fine. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be looking at solution of another lead code problem which is reverse integer. The problem definition is given a 32 bit signed integer, reverse digits of an integer and few examples are given such that reverse of 123 is 321, reverse of minus 123 is minus 321. Whereas, if the number is such that it contains preceding zeros like 120, then the reverse is only 21. Before starting with the solution, we must be familiar with two important operators, namely division and modulus. When we apply the division operator between two numbers a and b, we get quotient, whereas when we apply modulus operator between two numbers a and b, we get the remainder. For example, when 10 is divided by 3, we get 3 as the quotient, whereas when 10 is modular divided by 3, we get 1 as a remainder. Now we can start with the solution. Consider the input x is 1729 and output num is 0. The output is initially initialized to 0. So the algorithm is as follows. While x is greater than 0, multiply num with 10, then add x mod 10 to num and finally divide x by 10. So this cycle goes on while x is greater than 0. Initially value of x is 1729. Since x is greater than 0, multiply num with 10, then add x mod 10 to num which gives 9 and finally divide x by 10 which gives 172. So the new values of num is 10 and the new value of x is 172. So now x is 172 and num is 9. Since x is still greater than 0, we can perform the similar operations which we performed in the last iteration that is multiply num by 10 add x mod 10 to num which gives 92 and finally divide x by 10. So our new values of num and x are 92 and 17. Since x is still greater than 0, we can move further and perform the similar operations by which we get new values of num as 927 and value of x is 1. So 1 is still greater than 0. Therefore, we can perform similar operations which gives final values of num as 9271 and the value of x is 0. So here we can see that 9271 is reverse of 1729 which was the original value of x. So now let's begin with the code. Initially, we need to initialize the output num to 0. And the next thing which we need to consider is whether the value of x is positive or negative. If the value of x is positive, then we then we need to perform our algorithm which I mentioned earlier that is while x is greater than 0 multiply num with 10 then add x mod 10 to num and finally divide x by 10 That's it. We need to perform the similar operations if the value is negative but with a slight change. That is before performing the algorithm we need to multiply x with minus 1 so that the negative value converts to positive. And finally we need to convert the positive value to negative so here we converted the negative x value to positive by multiplying it with minus 1 and again we made a positive num value to negative that's it now we can return num since the return value is int and a num is long int, we can cast num to int. So 
So a code is not yet finished. We need to consider the node given in the question which states that a integers must lie within the 32 bit signed integer range. That is, it must lie within minus 2 power 31 to plus 2 power 31 minus 1. So we can check this case by adding a simple if condition at the beginning of the code as follows. So this condition checks that a number is within the range of 32 bit sign integer. We need to also check this condition for num. That is we can add the same piece of code after we multiply num by 10. So that's it, a code is over and we can check it by running. Yeah, it's run successfully, so we can submit it. And it is submitted successfully. So if you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos. Thank you.